welcome to more Poke Park Wii. So we just got to the lava zone, and we have to find some way to deal with uh, the switches here. But apparently they're overheated. They say that they'll take care of themselves, so we just leave them alone. Wow, there's a lot of awesome Pokemon here, though, so we'll probably befriend some Pokemon before we move on to Camerup's Furnace. I guess that's something we have to do. Let's go talk to Bullpix first, though. I would love to be friends with you. Wow, machines do so many cool things. Do you want to play with me? How about playing Chase? Of course, let's play some more Chase here. Try to catch me. I just want, I want a Pokemon that like, starts so close to me I can just start off with the Lightning Bolt, or a Thunderbolt, that'd be so great, but, oh my gosh, slow down, I'm gonna zap you if you don't, gosh dang, slow down, you did this to yourself, dude. Okay, we gotta get Magby as well, let's get Magby, let's get Charmander, let's get all the, let's just go for the cute ones, if you can consider Magby a cute one. Can my brother and sister be your friends too? Of course they can, so Volpix is now our friend. Things work pretty simply like that. Befriend one and you befriend them all. Oh, suddenly Ninetales. We got Naruto up in here. So we'll go befriend Ninetales as well. Uh, let's see. Where the heck is Charmander? Gosh dang, Bonsley's like everywhere. Okay, let's get Magby. Let's get Torchic. We've already got Arn. We've already got Geodude. Blaziken is really impressive. A huge boulder came crashing onto me and my friends the other day. But Blaziken kick smashed it to bits and saved all of us. Hey, you play Chase with me. So much Chase. I think that's probably one of my only complaints with this game. Like, I, I love the controls, I love the atmosphere. I love that we get to see such a good variety of Pokemon, but... The, the variety of actual gameplay is pretty limited. We pretty much have Chase, we have the battles, we have Hide and Seek, and we have Quizzes, which are pretty rare. There's also the Spearow had, like, the jumping one, but... For the most part, we just play, like, Chase and Battles a lot. And... We sometimes play Attractions, but they're very few and far between. But people say that the second Poké Park's a lot better, so we'll get to that someday. I'm, I'm not going to play them back to back or anything, because I don't want to burn you guys out on Poké Park. But I definitely, like I said, plan to do all the Pokémon games on this channel throughout the next, you know, coming years and all that. Okay, we've already got Chimchar. Uh, we've already got Vulpix. We've already got Aran. Uh, Chadot we've already got, of course. Do we have Torchic? I don't think we do. Are you here to meet Blaziken? He's so cool. I wish one day I'll be as cool as Blaziken. I mean, technically you could become a Blaziken. So let's go ahead and fight Torchic here. I actually do like the battling, though. I, I've mentioned this before, I like the battling, and uh, the, my only thing I don't like about it is just how easy it is, but a lot of people said the battle system in Poké Park 2 has also improved. I just wish that there was, you know, actual leveling up and more to it than just kind of like a couple of attacks, because it seems that the, the basic strategy of kind of dodge to the side and then dash in seems to work on just about everyone, so it makes it a little bit easy there, but... Still pretty fun, of course it's a kid's game. <laughs> oh my gosh, sorry about that. But, let's see. I guess we're done befriending stuff for now, so let's move on and see if we can pass this fire somehow. That is going to be a actual firewall, protected from computer viruses and everything. Uh, let's try going to the left instead. Maybe camera ups furnace is over on that side, so maybe if we stop the furnace we can stop the lava flow right there. Uh, no, this is just a, a drift limb. Huh. Well, there's camera up, so we'll talk to camera up, but let's activate the Drifflim here. Drifflim stop picture of a berry, of course there is. And now we have him! Hooray! But, let's go attack the camera up. I mean, I don't like dropping my firewall, I don't want to get those viruses, but... I do want to get past that section, we have to delve into the dark web. You've got to battle me if you want to explore the lava zone. Why? Why? That's how it is in the lava zone. Only the mighty are allowed by. That's the rule Blaziken is set. Battle me, are you ready? Uh, well, I didn't give a... Get an option there, but I guess we are ready. Why does Camerupt only have 3 HP? This guy should have like 5 or 6. Whoa! Okay, that guy's actually got a pretty interesting attack though. I like that one. But again, it still mostly just hits in front of him there. I am basically using Tackle. I'm, I'm a Pikachu using Tackle, taking people out in two shots. That's how strong I am. I'm so OP. Say now, hot stuff. No wonder they call you like... I'm Lightning Strike! Oh! What? What's Lightning Strike? That's you! You're well known in the Lava Zone as Lightning Strike! Even Blaziken is playing, uh, paying close attention to your activities. Say now, don't you want to know what this machine behind me is? This is called the Furnace! I'll explain how to use it. You can put stuff like Iron Ore and Gold Nuggets into it. Then you can make various things. Say you want to fix a switch, you need to make an Iron Bar. What? Where do you get Iron Ore and Gold Nuggets? Use the drill by Hitmon Top to dig for them. Okay, so we need to dig for some stuff, which might... I don't know, lead to us turning that fire off, but... I guess the secret... Warrior Lightning Strike has been us all along, and suddenly we have Ball Toy! Okay. This is why we break boxes, guys. I mean, maybe we don't need the berries that much. However, we get stuff like Ball Toy. I came from the Granite Zone with a secret message. What, do you want to battle me? Uh, sure. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go ahead and just battle him. 
That guy's just spinning along. I guess he is kind of a top, though, right? Well, my tackle is better than your tackle, so you gotta do something a little bit better than that, dude. Something a little bit better than that. That was one of the easiest battles yet. Holy crud. Now that I think about it, I don't think we've had any Pokemon that have only had one HP in the battles. Uh, it said something about Claydol being here pretty soon, so Claydol might show up suddenly. And there he is! Okay! So we have Claydol and Ninetales to get still. And I still don't think we got Charmander, I can't remember. But let's go back to Hitmontop and see if we can do anything with the drill. If we can find some crud to throw in the furnace, it might somehow lead to us actually taking down the firewall and we can move on. So let's go talk to this guy. Hey buddy, we need to use your drill. It's no longer overheated, but battle me before you use the drill, don't ask why. Here in the wow, that is some excellent writing, they're like, need a reason to battle? Nope, just, just because, but I guess it's how Pokemon is sometimes. Let's see, he's probably gonna go for some top attack. Can I dash through that? Nope, I cannot dash his top attack, so I've gotta shock him. Of course, my shock doesn't do the most damage, but it's gonna have to do here. Let's just get some long range, charge up, and wow, he actually gets in close enough pretty quickly there. So let's just keep a distance here. We gotta dodge that top attack. We can't actually hit him through that. And ow, I'm actually taking some serious damage, but we got him. I actually almost lost that. That top attack is pretty tough. But no match for Pikachu. Way to go, you can use the drill now. Do you want uh, Do you know how? Dash into the switch next to the drill to use it. They find many different things. So dash into the drill to get crud, to take to the furnace, to drop down the firewall, to go deal with Blaziken. And we have Hitmonchan coming to battle. Did not expect him in this area. I guess he kind of goes along with the theme of tough Pokemon here, and we do technically have Hitmon top right there as well, so maybe it shouldn't be too surprising. That is a hardcore drill right there. Well, oh my gosh, we got one thing at least, you found Iron Ore. So I think we have to very slowly carry this all the way over to the furnace. This is some exciting gameplay, I'll meet you guys there. Wait a second, Torkoal's interrupting me right here. Uh, so you are quite a traveler. Welcome to the Lava Zone. You're looking, uh, looking hard at work ahead. Or something, I read that wrong. You'll dig things up with the drill, then carry them to the furnace, but everyone has to work for what they want. So do your best. We thought about what we could do to help those who take on this task, and we decided to train anyone who passes us here. We can be a quirky bunch, though. Sometimes you'll find us walking around and getting in your way. Try to get through, it's up to you. So I have to carry this all the way there while also avoiding nuisances, I guess? I have no idea. Yep. I think we have to play some Frogger. We, it's like dodging traffic right here. Of course, the slowest traffic ever. We have gosh dang Torkoals. But we're just gonna skip past him here. I don't think it's gonna be too tough. And I'll just... I'll meet you guys at camera up. These Torkoals are not gonna really provide much of a challenge. Oh my gosh, I'm finally here. What's up, camera up? I got your crud. You might want to think about trying out the furnace. You can play Rhyperior's Attraction after you make an iron top there. Want to know a good tip for playing Rhyperior's Bumper Burn? I mean, I can't play it myself, but I can get... I got this tip from a friend. Learn to use Power Attack wisely. Time it so you're in the middle with everyone all around you. Okay. Uh, want to battle? No, we'll become best friends later on. I just thought I had to take this to him, but I guess we just have to take it directly to the furnace here. What shape do you want to make? Uh, let's make it round. I have no idea if this even matters, but I guess we're going to go for a round shape here. That is a scary furnace, dude. And is that a top? Does that work? It's an iron top. Hooray! We got it! Alright, so with that, I guess we can go play the attraction. We also have Golem arriving. We still have Claydol and Ninetales and I think Charmander as well to deal with. And I happen to see Claydol was right over this way. So let's go and... Let's go do Claydol real quick. Oh. Never mind, he's suddenly not here. He, I swear he was right here, but I guess he's moving around. So... Oh, there he is. Okay. And there's Golem as well. So let's do both of these guys. Okay, talk to me, Claydol. Blaziken may be collecting Sky Prism pieces himself. I need to take this news to everyone in the Granite Zone. How about we have a battle? Sounds good. This guy's freaky as crud. Kind of spooks me a little bit, but I guess that's the point. Okay, let's just dodge right in there, or dash right in there. Seems like it works. Some Pokemon dashing right in works, and sometimes it doesn't work. Oh my gosh, I'm confused. My controls are backwards, guys. Left is right, and right is left, and up is down, and oh my crudding crudder. There we go. So that was kind of an awesome attack to have the confusion, but the damage he dealt was extremely low. He hit me like three times and did not even do one bar. I guess that battle's gonna go down in history for some reason. Okay, we got Claydol here. Let's go talk to Golem. He's right next to him as well. I see iron in the background, but I think we're pretty good there. So anything made of iron or gold, please bring it to him. Um, 
So he's already my friend just like that. We do not even have to battle him. That's probably the easiest friend yet. So let's go and see if we can do the Rhyperior attraction now. I'm just not sure if we have to go through the firewall or if we have to go over this way. I don't know. I don't know. There's a switch with a broken lever. Okay, so we have to somehow fix that crud. Um, maybe if we take this crud over there. So I think we have to use this just to fix the thing. So we got the top. I don't see how that's going to be useful for this. But let's check it. Its lever is broken, so maybe we have to dig up some more and get a, uh, a straight one to get that lever switch fixed. So let's go back and get some more crud. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, dude! Oh! You crudder! Get out of my way, dude! Where'd my ore? Oh, there it is. Okay, I thought I dropped it in the lava or some crud. Well, let's keep walking slowly. Okay, this time we're gonna make it straight, and I think that'll give us what we need to fix the lever. Maybe we have to combine both of those pieces. We might have to do, like, the straight piece and then put the top on top of that. But the top itself looks kind of more like an actual spinning top like a toy rather than like the top of a lever but we'll find out let's go ahead and excuse me let's go ahead and take this and see if we can actually get this crud so let's put it in here pikachu did it work please tell me this works you fixed the switch hooray we did it so now if we hit the switch we can actually drop down this firewall here and we have to just mentally remember that the top is right there so whenever i happen to need that we've got it and now we can go through we might be able to play rhyperior's attraction yep there he is let's go do it not sure who's going to be good at this game, but we've recruited a few friends here, so maybe they can help us out. Welcome if you feel like spinning around and bumping other Pokemon around. My attraction is made for you. You need an iron top to play it, you can make it... Uh, okay. So we have to get the iron top to him. We've already got that, so let's go back and pick that up. Carry it over here and see what we can do. I feel like Torkoal would probably be pretty good at this game, but we have not befriended a Torkoal quite yet. But here's the top, dude. Uh, hmm, you have an iron top, I see. You're here to play the attraction. My attraction is kind of rough. Consider yourself warned. Do you dare to play Rhyperior's Bumper Burn? You need 20 berries. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Rise above your fear, approach, and begin. Oh, of course, Hitmontop would probably be good at that. Um, so we have to tilt the remote as shown. Oh my gosh, they're tilting it like mad people. Uh, so we have to avoid falling off, bump into others as hard as you can, and you'll force them out of the ring. So it's kind of like a sumo match of sorts. Don't miss the PD- or I guess like a top match, that makes sense. Uh, power boost to avoid the crud. Press 2 for a power attack. The more rivals you bump out of the ring in a row, the more points you'll receive. Keep bumping rivals out of the ring to get a big score. So Torkoal, of course, Flareon, and uh, Magnezone are all very good at this crud. Looks like Pikachu's gonna actually be the worst. No, Magnemite's the worst, and then uh, it gets better from there. So Torkoal's actually not that good. Usually the better the bonus, the better they are. Ooh, Torterra. That might be good. Okay, it looks like Torterra is actually our best choice for now. And I would be pretty hyped to play a Torterra, so let's go with that. What the heck are you doing, Pikachu? All right, so bonus is 14,000 points here. So we've just got to shift around to the sides. We are so much bigger than everyone else, though, so we should not have too much of a problem here. Let's just uh, use the power attack. Oh, are they going to keep respawning? I guess they will. I don't know how to use the power attack. I guess you have to charge it up first. Ooh, Venusaur trying to show us who's boss, but we're Torterra, dude. We're a gosh dang Torterra. Take that, Tyranitar. Get out of here, Flareon. Game says you're skilled. I don't think so. I don't think so, you little crud. I like how hit my top's not even, like, actually on the top. Oh, there we go. We got that power. We got to use that power to take down some of the big dudes. Ooh! Oh, get out of here, you nerds. Get out of here. I still have not gotten knocked off right here, and I've already got more than enough for that bonus. We've got so many points right now. Boom! Get out of here, Venusaur. I guess that actually was not enough to take him down, but... There we go, now we got him. Five seconds left on the clock, we got max score. Our score could not even go higher right there. So I think I did pretty good at that one, guys. As good as you can possibly do. I'm just sad we couldn't play Magikarp in that one. But we got 150 berries, brand new record here. That's never going to be, uh, never going to be beaten, obviously. Hmm, you did well. Here, I'll give you this. And we get ourselves another prism piece. You have received a prism piece. We're actually making pretty good progress in the game now, guys. Blaziken is scouring the Poke Park for prism pieces too. He's defeated me before. I'd love to battle him again. But what I want even more is to see how you stand up against Blaziken. Rhyperior is now your friend. So the question is, can we go and take on Blaziken? Let's go ahead and drop down a save here. Save complete! So let's see, where do we go next? I'm guessing the second firewall is what we have to deal with, so... I, if I recall correctly, oh, let's still go talk to Charmander here. But if I recall correctly, they said that defeating Rhyperior's attraction will drop down the second firewall. Finally, we found each other. I've been hearing a lot about you. You stood up to Venusaur and Napoleon, so I heard. What about Piplup and Chikorita? Oh, they're in the meeting place. I'm glad everybody's safe. I almost fell into the bubbling lava, but Blaziken saved my life. He's mighty, I can tell you that. The lava zone is full of exciting Pokemon, don't you agree? I, I would agree with that. 
Since we've met up in, in the lava zone, shouldn't we battle? Okay, I guess this is kind of a story battle. This one's a required battle. But I was going to do it anyways, because I would love to have Charmander on our side. And let's just charge up. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Yo, we got him. Perfect timing. Right before he attacked us there. So Charmander just got utterly destroyed. You've become so strong. I'm going to ask Blaze again to train me. See you later. I found Charmander, but I have not befriended Charmander. Crod. Well, I guess that's a thing. But let's go down around the Swirly Swirl, and I think we have to go to the south side. Or we have to deal with a Metacham here. Another story battle. Oh, Metatite. Gosh, why did I say Metacham? I'm so bad, dude. Hold it. You cannot go past here yet. You must prove your knowledge before you can go see Blaze again. Now, I challenge you to a quiz. The first question. What's the name of this zone where we see magma everywhere? It's the lava zone, of course. Here's some really easy questions. Who's in the meeting place that trains you in Thunderbolt? Electabuzz. And the last question, the last question is, who among these three is the best at Rhyperior's attraction? Um, I'm gonna say Hitmontop, because that's pretty obvious there. That's correct, you have trained your body well. What? How the crud? Okay. Not only that, we've trained your- How- How does he know I've trained my body well by doing a quiz? Maybe just because I'm the, the legendary lightning striker, so he knows about the body, but he's saying that my mind is also good from the quiz. I don't know. It's kind of creepy that he's talking about my body like this, though. Let's go around. Uh, do I have to hit that? I guess not. I guess we just kind of go. And I'm guessing that uh, Blaziken's going to be up on this side. Or maybe we have more store Farfetch'd? What the crud's a Farfetch'd doing here? You've come this far. I must say you've made an impression on me. However, defeating me is not going to be so easy. Battle me! Oh my gosh, the most hardcore battle yet. A Farfetch'd. Well, let's just uh, shock him real quick. Quite a shocking battle we have here. Let's just charge up, charge up, wait for it, and here- Oh, bad timing. Bad timing, Pikachu. Oh my gosh, doubly bad there. Shock him. There we go. We almost got hit the third time there, but we're not going to be defeated by a stinking Farfetch'd. We got this crud. Good job, Pikachu. What? My stock has been defeated. I guess you're just not the ultimate stalker. You're as strong as they say, but it will be different next time. I'll be stronger. Battle me again. Go ahead, Blaziken's waiting for you. Farfetch'd is now our friend. Well... How about that? But you know what, guys? I'm sure Blaziken is right through that section, but we will find out next time! I'll see you guys then. Take care.